Camera check. Cell phone check. Keys check. Lock check. Ladies and gents, we're here at Goodwill. I got a special guest with me here today. You might know her, you may not. She's kind of like a unicorn. She appears every now and then. Ready now? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Good afternoon. Magada hapon. Good afternoon. Let's go. What's the color, babe? Purple. Purple tags. Let me get. Oh, it's smooth. That's a little turn, but it's smooth. <laughs> she just reached over you. People do that all the time to me. Oh. Oh. If you're new to the channel, might as well subscribe. I'm a full-time reseller, content creator. I go by Sunny Las Vegas. I go to places and opening up more this year of places other than the go-to big name thrift stores like Savers, Goodwill, Deseret Industries. We're trying to find the small places too and share those experiences with you. What we learn and what we take from that works for us. And you may find things that work better for you. So if you want to see more of what I do, keep watching. Ooh. I'm so excited because I got Malhana here with me. Oh, a little box. Look at that. $4.99 gift code ink. A lot of, a lot of scratches. What do you look for, babe, when you come to the thrift stores? Something you need? Do we need this? It's nine ninety nine. No. No. I think we already have something like this. Yeah, they sent me over to close. That's heavy. No drama for this llama. We got here some nautical stuff. I know Mary likes a lot, a lot of nautical stuff. She has a warm soap. I want to check how much these go for. Barometer. Oh, by Sunbeam. It may not be very much by Sunbeam, but we're going to check it out anyways. Looks like it was Desert Industry had it for four dollars, and Goodwill said we can make more than that. Get it sold again, seven dollars. All right, I did just look it up, and I remembered that Mary's not the only one that I know that likes nautical stuff. Carrie's hubby, Jeffrey Parker, Mr. JP, also likes barometers, and um, this will probably sell for around twenty dollars, and that's not worth it for the profits after fees and everything so we need to find some stuff with more value put on a decanter put in a glass cool like little holder right here 99 cents from Walmart and here we got a little luster cup maybe crema no marks on here they're really pretty all right not too much in the glass section let's check over here on how Carla's doing is it purple uh mom gets a discount and you get a discount so how much are you a veteran so how much discount? <laughs> I, I think mom gets 40%? Oh, 40%. Okay, that's still cheap though. But why did you get that? Because I'm going to give the kids something for Christmas. Oh, that's cute. Why did you get that? Because I'm going to give the kids something for Easter. Oh, that's nice. That's Easter bags. Yeah, I know. Little. It doesn't matter, but there's so nice, like how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-
inside uh, the basket. Carla's getting these. She likes to, and does really nice, creating little gift baskets for guests that come in and our events and parties. What do we got here? Tricks. Got a little Elvis here. Signature product. Sometimes you'll find those items that have um, dates on them, and that helps. Spinners. Oh, look at that. Now I understand why it's called spinners. $1.99? That's pretty cool. Should I get this? Not all the reds on there, but I think that's okay. That's just paint wise. I'm gonna look that one up. I'm gonna put it in a car for now. Cause knowing Carla, she's probably gonna say in about 30 minutes, Dave, I'm ready. And I'm not gonna be ready. I could be here all day, folks. I could be here all day. And what is like it? For warm. It's just a warmer. Oh, like, this is like the ones we could use for cheese. Yeah, like smaller ones. Dang. You want me to check if it works, you said? Yeah, when you get I'll go plug it in. All right, I'll try it later. I've always wanted one of these too for nachos, nacho cheese. Wow, I just looked this up and somebody sold one for $20 and somebody else sold one for $22. So for $2, I'm gonna scoop it up for sure. Oh. What do you got here? Nice office trash can. Gotta represent. Three ninety nine. I'm gonna pick this up. Like they're in brand new condition. Some of these could be really good money. This one is definitely used, had some cat hair on it. Poor guy. It's nice lightweight too. I'll put these in a cart for now and check them out. There was a large leg brace here that I put in the cart, but I put it back because I found some cracks in the frame. But that small one should make some really good money. Six dollars. Really, really Don Joy X Rom. What I got over here? Oh, Philippines. What else do you find? Gift wrap. Gift wrap. That's a nice pattern. What's it say? Little, little big guy. Martha Stewart, dollar ninety nine. It was four dollars retail compared at six dollars initial retail. And it's gold. You like gold? No, because it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people do stuff because they don't get they don't get questioned. Are these matching or they just happen to be the same color? Feel like there's worth much. Not too much stuff on that end of the goodwill on the hard goods. But as you know, I'm always going to look for stuff. $5 for this clown? Well, it's not a clown, it's pajamas. Or is it a jokester? Excuse me. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Shoes, $2.99. These hat prices aren't bad. 
Um, some good wheels here in Vegas go for five to seven dollars, and they could be the crappiest condition. But this Bass Pro one is one I'm trying to get untangled. I believe it's two ninety nine, and I ended up selling it in California. I'll share more about that experience in an up and coming video. After this video, I'm gonna put one together of Mikey and I uh, before I went to California, and that same day I went thrifting with Carla and Mama Dola in this video. But I just want to put them in order for my sake and, and put them out without confusing myself. So, hats, I love hats. Jameson Irish Whiskey. This one right here is not a big seller, but for $2.99, it should sell for around $15. The condition of it is really, really good. You always want to check the straps, even open them up, which I did. The condition of the inside forehead, the netting, the sweatband, everything. You want to also show photos of that so that way when people compare your prices and photos to somebody else's that isn't putting enough love in it you just give them more ammo to choose you rather than choosing somebody else so for those reasons put it in the cart when it comes to sourcing now that we have the reseller cartel boutique mikey and i collabing on that and putting a lot of work into it when I come across pricing like this Harley Davidson vest and I feel that it's high, I also think about what we have, what I'm putting inside our boutique and considering changing some things um, to where I could still profit but make it even better for things to turn around even faster. So for the boutique I'm learning, it's not about holding on to things like on eBay to get the top dollar. It's more about making a profit that you're happy with and moving it faster. Faster is key, but also supplying quality items. Sometimes I pick items just based on what they look like. For example, this round red or orange backing kind of reminds me of the rising sun out in Japan. Uh, it's what they're known for. It does has like more of a Y2K, early 2000s um, Tilix tag. And on the back has a nice big spell out on the back. Um, I do some research later on it and I'll tell you more about it towards the end with more information. This is a really good brand, Mishka. I love this brand. It has a unique little wording right there, but it is Mishka. M-I-S-H-K-A. Look it up. And look up other things. When you look up names, type in apparel, t-shirts, beanies, jackets, snowboards. Just play around with the wording and see what you come up with. Patagonia is going to be a bread and butter item right here. I really like it. And the subtle design on the back. It's purple and it's going to be half off. So that's going with me and going to be put in the card. But first, always check out the condition, the pits. Guys like to sweat some pretty big stains that are hard to get out sometimes. So do your checks before selecting items, paying for it, and realizing you should not got it. Now, here's one I've been sharing with people. I can kind of spot more or less what this brand is uh, at least 75% of the time. But the quality of it, the look of it, it just felt like it should have been more of a performance uh, category on the racks. And looking at the bottom left, I find the little logo that we all love to come Busy. across. Oh, hey, Ma, um, I have a question. Yeah. You know, this and is really this is going to be a pretty good shirt. Four dollars. It should sell for around twenty-five to forty dollars. Now, this one is not a big seller, but I love the graphic designs. And sometimes I just pick up things for my own reason, and also to have in the shop. It's an it's an eye catcher. And people come from all over. And Puerto Rico. There's a lot of people that show love from Puerto Rico. Uh, not only on YouTube for me, but also other social media platforms. So they're ones that I consider too. And there's people all over the world that could come into our store and see it. And it may mean something. And they want to represent just like anybody else would from where they come from. So that's why I end up picking that San Juan Puerto Rico shirt. Going through more t-shirts. I've been told by other reseller and friends that they do really good with marijuana type uh, textile garments. But that's just not me. I'll, I'll let that for somebody else. Nothing against it. But I am happy I came across this one right behind it. It's going to be a 2003 Black Hills Rally t-shirt. This not only has a front hit, it has a back hit. At least that's what they, the cool kids say on whatnot. The front and back hit. Uh, I know it as an all over print. Just about. And this goes back. This design is kind of like a repop back to the mid 90s. Maybe even earlier. Up until modern t-shirts and it should sell for around 50 to 70 dollars it's a really good condition I, pr I could probably get more marvel t-shirts 2x 3x i've been doing really good on whatnot with and i'm going to carry more of them i'll have them in the shop 
and I'll leave them there for a while and if they don't sell then straight to one out they go. What a nice conference tee 2018. It's a really good condition, pretty much new. I ended up washing it, but it's gonna be for like myself. That? They do resell for around twelve to fifteen dollars. I know that's what I've been finding lately too. It's only two fifty. Two fifty? It's purple. Champion XL, nice and comfy. Little waist stringer. Half price. It's pretty cool mesh sleeves right here. What do we got here? Looks like near new condition. Got the little Marlin here. UCLA. UCLA College. And the tag. Oh, tag is half off, folks. $5.99. Score. That's a score. Corduroy. Purple. Wait, you want me to try that? Here, I'll try. This looks pretty big. Are you looking? You can look at that. Tap the screen. Yeah, I can see. You know that angle too. Yeah. <laughs> this might fit. A little tight. Oh yeah, it's too tight. It's too small. Look, it's too small on your ring. I think that's what it's supposed to look. Oh, uh, when you no, raise it. No, I'm just it. joking. <laughs> it's a it's little, too tight. I mean, the buttons around the belly, that's a good sign. <laughs> it's about time I try something on that I'm like, oh, it doesn't fit. It's way too small. You got wide shoulders. They got extra wide shoulders. You know what I learned about blazers for guys? You're not supposed to, even if it has more than one button, what? you never button all of them. You just do the top one and that's it. Oh, uh, so you can breathe? Yeah, I got corrected at the wind. <laughs> you don't do that. No. Why? Why Why does it matter? It's like, uh, What's the point of having all the like extra a, buttons then? Like dress etiquette. Uh, then they're wasting buttons. Then I wonder how I looked in this. Finding more and more sweatshirt type hoodies and sweatshirts, uh, long sleeve that are comfy. This one's one I really want for myself for the gym. I just like how thick they are. I really honestly prefer more like 2X and 3X. The bigger, I just feel and look more comfortable in them. And it's all about how you feel, not so much what the size is exactly to be a certain way tailored to you. But whatever your comfort is, that's your tailor mode. So with this one, Captain Marvel, pretty cool t-shirt, tie-dye. Tie-dye is still trending. I don't think it's going to die out uh, for a while, but it has kind of um, watered down a little bit. But Marvel and tie-dye, a double collabo, it's going to be really good in the shop and on whatnot. I come across these Joker jeans. I do love Joker. Uh, it's hard to come across when you when you do find them you're gonna realize what is this brand what's this joker label type in joker on google search and see what comes up because ebay isn't the only place to price things or see comps or even listings now these jeans i took them out to california and i did get some feedback and people wish that it was their size and if they did they would have got them for around 50 to 60 bucks this one's a unique pack that I kind of sold before, but not this brand. This is by South Pole. These are unique brand. These are South Pole Function. Somebody has one listed saying that they're rare for 120. So for this being a more of a metallic unique color, I'm gonna hopefully get around 60 to 100 for it. Unofficial, this is really nice old school feel sweatshirt. It's more of a modern uh, shirt and brand, but they do have some good comps and decided to oh, get it. Yeah. I'm gonna take it to the shop. Carla found this sun hat that you could roll up. It's also packable. Could take it to travel. Purple. And oh, it's brown. it reminded her of her cousin's that her cousin's hat out in Hawaii that she borrowed Ashley. San Diego um, hat. And ended up getting it. Surprisingly, they have really good comps. Cool. Keep your eyes out on San Diego hat co. There's also a full-on hats and not foldable hats like that that roll up. I was looking at these Nikes, and as I showed you, maybe a video ago or two at another Goodwill with Carrie and Don. The TW Tiger Woods. I kind of wanted to get these, but there was a heavy split on the toe up there. And on the inside, there was a hole in one, although they look really, really good. And I could change out the inserts. I just don't, I want to work less and invest more time in listing and being smoother in my process. 
these are some unique shoes every time i see some studded quality quality leather type garments uh, figures it doesn't matter it just looks like it's worth big monies and to me big money is like 50 dollars and up depending on the price it could be 50 cents and be worth 10 dollars, and that's big monies to me too but i took around 15 minutes looking everywhere for these brador studded leather shoes and i couldn't find them folks not here but maybe if i keep searching looking for other things to flip i'll come across it you just have to stick around to find out while looking for that uh the left sandal of the one i was just showing you i um, came across some more sandals and hoping that they're in the pile because they're right across the shelves but right below it were these hokas these are some really good condition hokas i looked them up and surprised how much they're worth uh to resell uh, prices for hoka are still up there depending on the quality condition retail i think they're around 170 dollars so i had to put it in a cart i'm doing some more inspection on these defi they have two types of logos that i've come across with these defis or you might see defire uh, gravity gravity defire online so even google images will bring this up but uh, they were missing the laces and i decided i just wasn't feeling them so, so i put I'm them back now through my cart right here it's a it's a little loaded it's hot today got mama dolo in here nice. you could almost if you've been watching us she has a style <laughs> she has her style when she grabs stuff i i could know that that's her style i like that i like the colors i know that's why i grab <laughs> this one is Aunt taylor so and taylor yeah oh, that's Expen nice expensive this one that breeds yeah Reassembly. Nice the material. That's why you can put, now you cannot find this. You know one of one of the first women shirts I sold was a uh, Karen Scott. Yeah, that but is... it had the jewels like across, like the fake bead jewel. Yeah. Some of those rhinestones. This one yeah. is just like for. Oh, that's half off. Yeah. Purple. Karen Scott. It mm -hmm. the, I like the brand of this and it's thick the material. This one is. Yes, People say you're cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I say that. I mean, I tell you that, but people are saying it in the comments. Oh, oh, look. look, I was trying to find this right here. This brand right here is like a three hundred dollar oh, brand. This one is nice. But I can't nice. find the other one. The, the I've been other trying to look. Fair? Yeah, it's only fifteen dollars. It's easy, a hundred dollars. But it's in good condition. It'll probably sell for like 150. This one is a nice leather. Yeah. Where is that? Look, it's Brador. Yeah. Not our Brador, but made in Italy too. Italy too. There's different places they make uh, Brador and Brador. <sighs> really disappointed I can't find this one. Did a little bit more research on this, and I knew it was, it was a good brand, but I didn't know. How much it goes for i found a hat that was i was trying to clean up but it didn't work out because it stains didn't come out it's a size 38 the sewing i thought wasn't legit but carry comparing them to other places it's actually legit you also got to check on the zippers button flies whatever it has this is a nice quality old school denim color on here and this is an original sewing leg openings and for ten dollars i think i could sell this for around 50. some of them have big embroidery patched on here but i think sometimes people just want the brand and not so much uh to know that they're wearing a brand and not so much have things out there be too loud especially if they're going somewhere be a little bit more subtle where people aren't telling them where they can and can't wear things like dress coats now these i recognize these because of this right here and i mentioned that often i'm going to look these up i didn't at first but for $15, I'm having a feeling this is going to be a really easy cleanup. And I have several myself, as you can see here. Here's mine. I think these are clips and fives. Mine are clips and sixes. And I probably have like three or four pair of hokas of myself. Um, let me look these up now. Wow. These could uh, sell for around nearly $100. 60 to 100 but i'm going to be pushing more towards 100 because i'm going to clean these up a little brush off nothing crazy 
pretty confident. The last one that sold was, well, that one's November, this one's December, this one's January 31st, not too long ago. Let me see, let me see recent, because sometimes I have it on high price, low price, newly listed. $60 it looks like what it's going for. So yeah, I'm gonna sell these. This, this is a good brand. Should sell pretty fast. Got them bread and butter right here. The Patagonias. But damn. Cha-ching. I just catch these thrift finds, folks. And I reel them in. This one right here, $4. This one's going to be a, a Mishkaska. Look up that brand. I mentioned this before, that eyeball about a beanie on a whatnot auction I had a while back. We're going to have one on the 13th, folks. If not already, I'll be editing this out if I can't get this out on time. But this is a nice black basic tee, size medium. Should get around $15 to $20 for that. Now this one, I think it's from Logic, the music artist. So I'm going to look this one up. I didn't look it up earlier. Sometimes they do tours, and that's what might be what this is, a tour tee. Could not even be Logic, but I'm going to check it out. All right, so this is, I was correct, this is going to be a Logic, the rap artist. Very talented dude. Seems pretty cool on TikTok. I like when he talks to us on there. It's going to be $4 for a Telex. This should get around $15 to $20. Also great for the shop, but I'm going to be taking this to California, see if it sells out there first. Since I won't be in a shop and pushing stuff or on whatnot, let me check it out here. I'm gonna look this one up. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Is Vegas theme is half price? I'm not even gonna look up comps, but I am gonna take it with me. Huh? Trash can? It's like popcorn, but I'm gonna use it for trash can. See, I was trying to find that sandal over here too. I know, cause... that's why I'm helping Because <laughs> if it's here, that's gonna be big money. Mama, yeah, Mama Dola's trying to help me look for those, uh, that other sandal, folks, because that would be big money. Big money. For $15, I'll pay for those sandals. I'll even try to sell them on whatnot. What are those? <laughs> it's for you, a mermaid dress. Yeah, for me. Oh, it's pretty. That's like twice your size, my love. No, I tried it on. If for real, it doesn't drag. It doesn't. All right, it's magic dress. Can I wear heels? Can I? And then like, I found this. Like foot high heels. How much is that? Let me see. Oh, I so, thought it was gonna be like fifteen dollars. Plus forty. This one is fifteen. This one is more. Oh. But I think because it's black, that's why maybe it's the black. Oh, it's the. No, the brand is pretty good. White House. There's some things that are pretty pricey and then some that aren't. Um, yeah, it's so a good brand, though. It's a good brand. That's out there in Nordstrom. Uh, Summerlin, where we go to that oh, outside. So they got their own location out there. Bad, nah, I don't think that's bad. I thought this shirt was pretty cool, like tie dye. People, people like to buy these on whatnot. Uh, she was here. She was trying to help me find a sandal, like this expensive sandal, but it was only one. If I could find it, it's gonna sell for like a hundred easily. <laughs> well, only one of the sandal. I think is the right sandal. Brand Brandor. Brown. If you see it, you'd be like, ooh. <laughs> Mama Dollar's over there. Just cracking up. Maybe Mama Dollar's right. So Mama Dola said, go get that other one. Maybe they have it up front for some reason. Maybe somebody turned it in. <sighs> I hope they have it. This would be really good. Hi. Well, you I'll give you a story. No, it's okay. Hi. What's your name? Vivian. Vivian, nice to meet you. I'm from Minnesota. Oh, I come Minnesota. To Vegas eh? all the time. I said, oh my God, what if I see these guys? I, yeah, I actually um, just came with my mother in law and my wife. Yeah. yeah I so, how long you. are you down? 
I got here Monday. I'm going back tomorrow. My, okay. I'm here with my girlfriend. Hi, Sunny Las Vegas. He's one of the guys I watch on YouTube. Oh, you're kidding. Hi. Roxy. Oh, hi, I'm hi. Roxy. Nice to meet you. See, they wow. film the stuff they oh. buy and they put it down. Oh, nice. If find anything good today so far? Yeah, uh, more than what I expected, a cartload. Mm -hmm. Oh. Go ask how much this one, there's no tag. Oh, okay, price. just that one? Yeah, no, that Does is two. Yeah. Just that one doesn't have a tag? Or is yeah. there other ones? The other one had, but the, the other two. I go up to my bag this one. I even brought this today. It didn't work. How much do you think it's gonna drop down to? 160. Come on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. I feel like I just had my birthday again. Next. Thank you. I got bags. I got four bags. Okay. Will you use our card? We can do that. My card? Get mom's discount. No, we we have the discount already. Ooh, we are here for a minute, folks. I got quite a bit of stuff. I was really, ex I was nervous when I was started seeing the numbers go up and the register. And then I was like, you know what? I hope it gets down to like 165. And then when it went down to 145, money. And I guess spend time with family. Yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more. Cause there's gonna be a lot more where that came from. Ladies and gents, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. It's it supports so many different ways. Uh, it gives me like a pat on the back every time when I see those numbers grow and my channel grow because you all help me grow so much more than what you may know. I am back from California. I had a full weekend with Harry American Arbitrage and Dawn Lady Arbitrage. I had a lot of fun. We went out to FleaCon. It was a pretty good event. I learned a lot from it and I'm gonna take back a lot from my experiences there and apply it to what I'm doing, especially with prices in a boutique store. Everything's new. I don't know everything. I don't try to be a know-it-all. I try to just put myself out there that I'm trying to learn as much as I can and to, for it to help me grow with my own goals and my family goals and assist other people in their goals if possible. And I share with you my journey. So please make sure to like and subscribe. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers. We are on our way. Um, tonight we have a whatnot auction um, and the link, I'm going to pin it down below. I have mine at 430 and Mikey Bags of Money has his at four. And I think Danny, the niche lady is actually first. So it'll be Danny, Mikey, and then myself. So make sure to check us all out on whatnot tonight and make sure to follow and bookmark our things. I'm going to have a little bit of glass, not crazy long, um, but some things that I really love that I haven't put it online or even in the shops. Well, I got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to put this video first and then I got one to catch up with Mikey. Uh, a video that we did together on our Wednesdays that we go out and travel Vegas. And then I'm going to catch up with other videos like the ones from California, which are probably like three videos that I could take from it or create from it. So folks, I got a lot ahead of me. I got to go. You know what to do if you want to follow for more because there will always be more. Check out these videos right here.